one of my favorite things to put in uh, kits is uh, just a few safety pins. They have a lot of uses in them. Um, I really like using them for number one, pulling splinters out of my hands. It just seems like they work really, really well for that. Um, they dig stuff out really easily. I don't know why they work so good, but they do. Uh, also, if your clothing has a blowout, like a button or something like that, then you can go ahead and use that to repair it. Uh, one of the things you can improvise with them is fish hooks. And that's what we're going to take a look at here in a little bit. I'm going to pull out the Leatherman and uh, show you how I make the fish hooks for these. So I've got my safety pin I'm going to be working with. You can see this one's, oh, I don't know, about an inch and a half, inch and three quarter long or so. Um, first thing I want to do is open it up. I like to open it just a little bit, bend it out, take my wire cutters, my multi-tool, and cut that baby off right there, okay? From there, I want to take and start forming the hook itself. Alright, from here, there's a couple different things I can do. Either I can cut this off right here and the hook is done, or I can take it, pinch it together, bend that up. You'll make almost a weedless little deal right there where it keeps it from coming off. It's going to be tricky here. There. Alright, so from here, I can now adjust that in and out. If I hook it, since this is a barbless hook, right, that way I'll be able to keep that fish from coming off. And they just tie it on there. And these actually work really good. So, a super fast, uh, easy, improvised uh, piece of equipment you can have. Small hook will catch small fish and big fish. Big hook will catch only big fish. So, pretty good little deal.